What's good, YouTube? It's your boy KB. Back to get boxing is just due one more time. Before we get into it, man, if this your first time on the channel, smash that subscribe button, smash my like button, and hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I drop new content. We on the road to 10K, man. Let's get it. Let's keep growing. Let's keep working. So let's get right into it, man. We got some interesting news in the sport of boxing. Kind of a shocker. If you ask me, you know, it's being reported, you know, by BoxingScene.com and a bunch of other news outlets that the WBC is ordering an interim title bout between your Danis Ugas and Mario Barrios. It's a damn good fight, in my opinion, man. Kind of out, out the blue, out of left field. This is a fight that I definitely didn't expect to see. This is a matchup that I, that I definitely didn't expect by any stretch of the imagination, you know. Dennis Ugas is 36, as we all know. He's 5'9 with a 69 inch reach. You know, he got a record of 27 and 5 with 12 KOs, with only being stopped just one time. That's to Errol Spence, as we all know. That was back in 2022, April 16th. You know, he suffered a, a 10th round TKO stoppage to Errol Spence. You know, it was a tough fight on him. He, you know, it was reported after the fight that he suffered a broken orbital bone, broken ribs think broken noses a number of different things and you know they said his eye bled for about 48 hours and things like that so it's no doubt in my mind that you know he took a lot of punishment against Earl Spence a lot you know his his last win was was back in August of 2021 where he got a 12 round unanimous decision over you know the Filipino legend the eight time division world champion Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao you know he looked great in that fight if you ask me he was switched on he, you know uh he made Manny miss he made him pay you know he he Manny showed his age in that fight and you know Uga surprised a lot of people with how convincingly he beat Manny Pacquiao scoring a 12 round unanimous decision and you know Pacquiao looked very bad at the at the end of the fight and you know some thought he would never be in a boxing ring again because he was on camera getting fed, you know, by his wife and he couldn't even see. So some thought that would have probably been the last time you seen a Manny in there because of the type of, you know, punishment he sustained in the fight. But nonetheless, you know, that was Uga's last win. And, you know, since since suffering his, you know, his first stoppage of his career to Earl Spence in the 10th round of 2022 back in April, like I said, um, you know, he, he looks he's looked to have recovered. You know, um, Ugas is a guy that doesn't duck any smoke. He's always willing to take the tough challenges. So I'm not surprised that he would be willing to take a fight like this. I'm just surprised that, you know, the WBC ordered this fight. And, you know, I think this would be a definitely a highly entertaining fight for the fans. You know, Mario Barrios, you know, he's 27 and two with 18 KOs and he only been stopped once as well. And we all know that one stoppage came came to Tank Davis. You know what I mean? And, and after that, you know, he moved up to 147 and he took on the only once defeated Keith Thurman. And, you know, he lost a 12 round unanimous decision back in February of 2022. But since then, he's rebounded. You know, Mario Barrios has rebounded. You know, he, he he suffered two defeats back to back. You know, what I mean, not too many people when it's all said and done are going to be to say that they fought Tank Davis and Keith Thurman. You know, both punchers. You get what I'm saying? So. You know, he still showed a good account of himself against Keith Thurman, but it just nearly wasn't enough. And Keith Thurman went on to outbox him to a 12 round unanimous decision. But he did hurt Keith Thurman in that fight and had him spitting his mouthpiece out running around the ring. So, you know, Mario Barrios is definitely a hell of a fighter. But like I was saying, his last win was back in February 11, you know, um, where he got an eighth round. T, uh, eighth round TKO over Giovanni Santiago, you know, who was 14, two and one, you know, he, Mario Barrios pretty much dominated Santiago from the opening bell. You know, even the scorecards were 70 to 63 all across the board before the stoppage. I mean, he looked phenomenal in that, phenomenal in that fight. If you ask me, um, it was a much, much improved Mario Barrios from the last two outings that we've seen, you know, um, he just was switched on and, and he, he looked like he, he filled out at 147 pretty good in this fight. That's the difference. I think his body looked a lot different against Giovanni Santiago than it did against Keith Thurman, which was his first fight at 147. You know, now, fast forward to today, like I said, the WBC has ordered, a, you know, an interim title bout 
between Ugas and Barrios. And like I said, this fight will be definitely highly entertaining. It, it remains to be seen what version of Ugas we're going to get. Because like I said, he suffered a lot of punishment against, you know, Earl Spence back in April of last year. So, you know, if if he still has something less to, left in the tank, which I suspect that he does, this, no doubt in my mind, will be an entertaining fight. I think this would be something like a 50-50 fight on paper. It's a fight that either guy could win on the night, depending on the game plan, who's able to implement their game plan on the other. You know, it'll be a fan-friendly fight. You know, Ugas always comes to fight, man. And, you know, um, for for a Cuban fighter, you know, he, he can be aggressive. He, he can come forward and he can go try to get you. Now, he's not the biggest puncher. But make no mistake about it, Ugas is a smart fighter that can box. And like I said, these two guys only been stopped once, respectively, in their careers. You know, Ugas being stopped by Earl Spence, TKO'd, and, you know, Mario Barrios being stopped by Tank Davis. You know what I mean? I think Mario Barrios showed a lot of toughness, heart, and grit when he went up against Keith Thurman for his first fight at 147 and made it out of that fight without getting stopped. You know, he showed a good account of himself, but, you know, I think that was a tough, tough task, you know, coming off of Tank Davis knockout loss and for that to be his first fight at 147. So, you know, although he didn't get the nod, like I said, since then he's re he's rebounded with an eighth round, you know, KO, TKO over Giovanni Santiago, where he looked phenomenal in that fight. And I think he, he has a bit of momentum now and he's back in that win column and it just remains to be seen what version of Ugas we're going to get. But I suspect he still has some fight left in him. You know, he is 36, but the dude takes care of his body, man. Ugas is always in shape. You never see Ugas out of shape. And he always comes to give the fans a good fight. You know what I'm saying? And I expect no different when and if this fight is officially made. You know, they're, they're targeting a date around July, I'm hearing. So... I'm just hopeful that we do get this fight because, like I said, man, you need 50-50 fights in the sport of boxing. This is a good fight on paper, and I think these two dudes would deliver. You get what I'm saying? Both skill. Uh, Ugas is a crafty guy, a veteran. You know what I mean? Got to 27 and 5. You know, he's been around the block. He's been in there with some of the best fighters that boxing has to offer. You get what I'm saying? And Mario Barrios, you know, he got some quality names on his resume as well. So... I think this would be an entertaining fight for the fans, and I hope they deliver. I hope they stand on this and actually make this fight happen. And it's, it's, it's interesting that this is an interim title bout. You know what I mean? I believe, you know, yeah, like I said, the WBC has ordered this. So hopefully they stand on it and make this fight for the fans. It will deliver. It will be highly entertaining. Like I said, I like the way Bar Mario Barrios looked against Giovanni Santiago. He, he showed me that. You know, he still got a lot of fight left in him. And, you know, Barrios is fairly young. I think he's just 27 years old. So he got a lot of fight left in him, man. So I would like to see this fight. You know, I don't, I'm don't. i not going to make a prediction just yet. I would just call it a 50-50 fight that I definitely think could be a fan-friendly fight for the fans and may the best man win. But that's my thoughts, man. Y'all get in the comment section and let me know what y'all think about this fight. Are y'all excited for Ugas versus Mario Barrios? Did y'all see this coming? And, you know, who y'all got winning? You think Ugas got enough to, you know, beat Mario Barrios? Or do y'all do y'all think, you know, Earl Spence took too much out of him and, you know, Mario Barrios is just going to beat him? You know, and as always, get in that comment section and let me know if I gave boxing with Just Do. Because that's what I do over here, Just Do Boxing. To the next one, I'm out. Peace, family.